Completely silent. The animals too. Ah, uh, some sort of plague has hit the village. That viper Flavius did this. We should have ripped out his entrails long before now. Let us get to the vault. Roman soldiers. Must be Flavius' men. Sister, confute! Take those intruders down! It was Flavius all along. He... <laughs> Rabia, what happened here? Quickly. Hepzibah, the vault. Rabia, we will come back to you when we can. We trusted him. We were fools. Sister, no one more over there. Intruders, attack! We must be careful not to be seen. Non li sei Frightened of the opening door. They're running. Careful. We don't know what's in there. We must find out what happened. Bye. Are we dreaming? We have entered the duat. Who created this? The gods themselves. Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. It is Hepsifa. Oh, my Sammy. Your life is done here in the desert dust. They took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here! He deserves a proper farewell! Go ahead, Bayek. I am with you. Epsifa knew nothing of the Order. There was no cause for him to be killed. Flavius ripped out his heart as a message to me. It was he who killed Hemu. My husband. We will end this.
Bayek. Ah. Uh, you found poor Hepsiva. I saw what happened. It was horrible. The Roman leaders entered the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. Hepzibah so tried to stop them, but they rendered him helpless. They entered the vault. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village lost its reason and fell to the ground like dogs. They have destroyed Siwa! They must die! You must put an end to this! Bayek! Aya! You have the prayers of the entire village to support you! Let us bring Hepzibah to his rest. Then, we will seek justice! Let the embalmers come! We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart, such that Hepzibah may walk free in the field of reeds. Hepzibah, old friend. Bayek, Hepzibah would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. Some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is headed for Cyrene, and Septimius for Alexandria. I will kill Flavius. Hmm. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me, I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu and everything we lost. Me too. So for now, we kill. Farewell, Aya. Decision better. Flavius has taken their wits. This is not good or natural. Will they dance till their feet? Bleed? Sorry, it is just he was such a gentle soul. Once had me treat a wounded dog he had caught in a snare. Why would he do this? I have seen this before in Siwa. I'm looking for the soul leader responsible, Flavius. The proconsul? That sack of rancid god shit murdered my son, raised my village, and now marches through your land with the light of Amunra. Come. Let us search the farm. Look for survivors. I am Bayakusiwa. Praxila, of this land gone mad. Why would Flavius... They are just 41 farmers. They stood in his path. There are still soldiers here. Then we must be careful. Ah! 
Nanette, are you all right? What happened here? Red cloaks and that milk soup with the lion's head. Took anyone who could work. Farm hands, my son Kade, everyone. Then he came. Dark eyes hooded as a raven. I wanted to throw stones to shoo him off. Something golden, bright in his claws. Held it up, crowing as they fell before him. Some by their own hands, others by those dearest to them. Against nature, everyone crying, screaming, running, dying. How did you es- No one sees poor Ninet, an old woman's husk with clouded eyes. But I saw them, didn't cry out, bit my tongue till I choked on the blood. The men who did this, we will find them. Bitter hurry, girl. Raven flew north to the home of the Huntress, overheard Red Cloak squawking. Bring Kade back to me. I will try. Flavius also robbed me of my boy. Let us bring Nenet to my cart. Will you follow Flavius? I must. For your son? For every son. You must miss him very much. All my waking and sleeping hours. You will see him again in the field of reeds. I hope so. Nanat spoke of the home of the Huntress. Yes, Cyrene. The shining porticos of Roman conquest. It is north of here. If Flavius is there, I will find him and destroy every fiber of his car. When you arrive in Cyrene, look for my friend Diocles. I would trust him with my life and yours. As a magistrate, he hears petitioners in the Agora. Give him this. I hope this heals the madness in this land. I pray you get the justice you seek, Bayek. Why would they take Nenet's son, Kade? The citadel casts a long shadow over Cyreneica. There are rumors that General Agrippa and Flavius are preparing for war. Against Egypt? Do you doubt their ambition? No. They won't stop until I stop them. I will bring Nenet to my clinic in Balagrey, south of the temple of Asclepius. Though that place has troubles enough. I will find you if I can. Came back from Balagre with a crook up his arse. Demanded my taxes for the year. They burned my farm when I refused. And you are sure it was Leander's men? My wife said no good would come of defying him. I hate it when she's right. Leander will pay. You have my word. Your word, Diocles? Will not sow my scorched fields? Bring my goats back to life? I am done with you. End this land. Your word. <laughs> and how has our most venerated magistrate extorted you, Egyptian? Praxila said you could help me. I am Bayek. Is he all right? As well as anyone can be with Flavius desecrating your land. I followed that fucker's murderous trail all the way from Siwa. So the rumors? True. As are his preparations for war. One more oppressor. Egypt will never be stable again. Invasions upon invasions. Flavius will make of Egypt one giant tomb. He rules from the Acropolis, but is crawling with Romans. I pray the dice fall in your favor, for Bayek. I must deal with his lapdog, the magistrate Leander. 
Seek me out again, if you would be a friend to Cyrene. Thank you, Diocles. It is time for my son to enter the field of reeds. We need no creed, no indoctrination. We do not lurk in the shadows. We strive in the This area is off limits. Temple of Mars. Good to see our Roman gods outside of Rome. Proconsul Flavius <clears throat> scares the shit from my bones. Sisti, <clears throat> Pausa! I think I can't feel you skulking in the shadows, Bayek of Siwa. I have followed your path of murder and madness all the way from my homeland. And now, you will answer for my son's death, Roman! No, Egyptian. Now you will bow before your god! Of my son, my friends. Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance in Alexandria? You should have joined the order. You need us. So you chose slavery. The man who killed my son. Cowering in another temple. Your Magi friend Hepzibah also had a stubborn streak, like your son.
You're nothing but a farmer. Camel herders and shit shovelers. That is all Egypt is. You robbed my son of his afterlife! I will cut your heart out! You are not a god! You are barely a man! A child, Flavius! My child! Now that's the one thing I do not regret in my life. I will never give you peace! Your son's death made the order bow to me! Caesar, even. I had Rome! It gave me an empire of a thousand sons, each one greater than the last. Ah! Come on! Finish me! You coward! The waste of time! Yeah, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. It's all right, Papa. No. I will. I will lose you forever. Not forever. I will be waiting for you in the field of reeds. Don't move it! Morse! Ego 